What are you doing? Ooh. Oh! Jackson's dead. President Jackson's dead body. Hey, you. Who are you? I'm, I'm, I'm William Lloyd Garrison. The president and I, we were taking a walk, and I don't know where the killer jumped. He shot him. He pushed me. Then he threw his gun, and he ran. Wait, let me get this straight. So the killer came from behind the street, uh -huh. ran up to you, and just shot him? Yes. And ran? Yes. How do I know you're not the killer? Please don't take me to jail. I'm innocent. No, I'm not gonna take you to jail. I knew Jackson. How? He was a close friend of mine. Okay, I just need your um, statement. What happened exactly? Alright. The killer came from behind that tree. Okay. And then he jumped and shot Andrew Jackson. Uh huh. He pushed me away, he threw his gun, and then he ran that way. So this is the murder weapon right here. Uh huh. What do we have here? <sighs> Slavery forever. Okay. U.S. Constitution. Declaration of Independence. Okay. What is that? Okay. <sighs> what a shame. Hello? Yes, I'm at the crime team right now. Um, I'm gonna need a forensic team to come clean this up and uh, make sure to get all the evidence. We have the murder weapon right here. Okay, thank you. Alright, bye. Good afternoon, Garrison. It's Good afternoon, Tech. Thanks for your cooperation. No problem. All right, what were you doing with the president on that day in 1837? Well, the president and I, we were taking a walk in the park. We were talking about how I would abolish slavery <clears throat> since he had just read my section in my newspaper, The Liberator. So this note saying slavery forever could not possibly be from you, is that correct? This? Of course not. I'm a strong anti-slavery activist. Is this part of your Liberator newspaper about the war? Of course this is. Well, we found that on President Jackson when he was murdered. Oh. Okay. Alright. And is this mutilated copy of the Constitution yours? Just get that thing away from me. Hmm. Is it also true that you burned a copy of the Constitution? Yes, so? That in itself is an appalling crime. You're going to be put away for a long, long time. Now admit to the atrocious act of you killing the President. Believe me, it wasn't me. I didn't kill Jackson. He, me and I had very similar ideologies. Hmm. Since I'm a lenient guy, I'm gonna let you go. But first, can you tell me anyone who might have wanted to kill a Jackson? I uh, don't know. Don't uh, lie to me! There's a lot of people that wanted to kill Jackson. So, uh, 
I'd probably say Roger B. Tanny or John C. Calhoun. I saw him that day with the president. All right, thanks. But you're still going to jail for burning that constitution. What? All right, I'm going to have to go find Roger Tanny. Wonder where he is. There he is. Judge Tanny, I would like you to come with me so I can ask you a few questions about the murder of a certain man. Can't you see I'm busy right now? I'm, bit, I'm ready, Bill. Please, sir. I'm asking you nicely to cooperate in this investigation. Leave me alone. If you do not collaborate with us, I will have to assume that you're involved with Jackson's murder. Oh, this is the investigation of Andrew Jackson? He and I were close friends. Of course I'll be willing to help you out. All right, let's go to the interrogation room. Let's go. Good afternoon, Judge Tanny. Good afternoon. Thank you for your cooperation on this murder. No problem. Where were you Where were you at the time when Jackson was murdered? I just left debating with Jackson on several different issues, mostly regarding slavery. Well, what position do you stand on the issue with, of slavery? At the scene of the crime, we found this torn note saying, Slavery forever. This notes? I really hate slavery. I think it should be abolished. Well, was it true that you owned slaves? Yeah, but the only reason why I owned slaves was because I was born into a slave-holding family, but when I received o ownership of slaves, I released them. Okay. Well, then why did you rule in the Dred Scott case that slaves were considered property and therefore not free, regardless of the fact that they were in a free state? Yo, dog, I was just doing my job, yo. You know what I'm saying? Well, then why did you kill Jackson? Give me one minuscule reason why you wouldn't kill him. Well... Jackson was a good friend of mine, and we shared the same ideologies. After the Senate prevented me from becoming Secretary of Treasury, my buddy Jackson nominated me as Associate Justice of the Supreme Court. I have absolutely no reason to kill him. I was a loyal Jacksonian and am to, to, the, to this day. Well, prove a good point, but you still might be guilty of this crime, but I need one more piece of information to you, from you. Who do you think killed Andrew Jackson? Hmm. I think I know who the culprit is. It has to be John C. Calhoun. Okay, thank you for your cooperation, Judge Tanny. You can leave now. All right, thank you. I wonder where Calhoun is. To look for him. There he is. Calhoun! I am a detective investigating a murder case, and I would like to ask you some questions. Stop! You come to the investigation room with me. Well, John C. Calhoun, why did you run away from me, huh? I had to. I thought you were going to rob me. What? I'm investigating the murder of Andrew Jackson, and I believe that you killed him. Why? Because I'm black? Exactly. I mean, I mean, no. Of course not. Besides, why would I want to kill Jackson, though? Well, we found a note uh, with the word saying, slavery forever, and it is known that you are a strong supporter of slavery. Here it is. Yeah, so I'm right, I'm entitled to my opinion. I can support slavery if I want to. Okay. Well, isn't it true that you com you ha you and Jackson had completely different ideals? The man is a psychopath. Okay. I didn't like him. No one else did. All right. You want power to the states, unlike Jackson, who ruled single-handedly. So. Well. Uh, you also your wife was harassing Peggy Eaton. And Jackson took sides with him, and you took your wife's sides, which forced you to resign from uh, his presidency, vice presidency, sorry. And he replaced you with Martin Van Buren. 
that made me mad. I admit it, but not enough to want to kill Jackson. Well, well, yeah. Wait a minute. What is that ring doing on your finger? Hmm. It's my wedding ring. Oh yeah. Well, why is Andrew Jackson engraved in it, huh? This is all the proof that I need. You're under arrest for murder of Andrew Jackson. Okay? What? I didn't do it. Uh huh. Liar. I have all. Evidence. Whatever, man. My lawyer's gonna love this case. You called me the N-word, too? <laughs> what? We have it on tape. He had it coming anyway. That man ruined my career, my life, and he slept with my wife. Seriously? Dude, she available? Because Jess can get her. Anyone can. What? Sit down. <laughs>